Hey, welcome back to Hey Dr. Dave. And this time we're gonna be talking about chiropractic and CrossFit. And uh, we're gonna be debunking some of the, the myths out there uh, between chiropractic and CrossFit. So, you know, a lot of my colleagues in chiropractic, and I'll mention I CrossFit, or and they go, oh, say goodbye to your knees in three years, or, you know, they say these flippant things, and it kind of bothers me to tell you the truth, because I've been CrossFitting for about five years, and the reality is I've learned more about human motion and functional movement of my body, as well as the athletes that I work with, through CrossFit. And the reality is this, I really don't see a ton of new injuries in CrossFit. What I see a lot of are old injuries that, I mean, I'm 46 years old, so I've got a lot of old injuries. So old injuries show up when we start doing movements correctly. When you start doing full ranges of motion and a snatch or a clean, or you start doing things correctly, all of a sudden, when you're hinging, certain things start to tweak and start to, you start to see those dysfunctions. So it's very interesting to see that because I think it's pointing out to us, the body's showing us there's something not functioning right. So that's key and that's where chiropractic and CrossFit, especially the coaches and the chiropractor can really work well together. Because what we find is there's usually you have three options, right? One is you're just gonna, one is you're gonna work out through it, right? You see it all the time, athletes do it all the time. They get injured and they're gonna work out through it. Maybe it'll go away. Well, maybe it'll go away. It's been going on for a year, two years, three years, and only gets worse, right? The second thing is do nothing. I don't mean rest, because rest is important at times for injury, but I mean just doing nothing until it goes away and then coming back. And we've all seen that. Guess what? It's just a matter of time. It shows up again. So really the third and only option is to start to look at the way your body's moving. And when you have these injuries and when things start to come up, it's your body telling you there's something that needs to be fixed in those motions. Using your CrossFit coach and using your chiropractor or a great PT or a great muscle work person going in on joint capsules and finding out where those adhesions are, going into the muscles and finding out which bands are involved and how to work them through and, and mash them out and, and use whatever it takes for at-home stretches to do and using your chiropractor's care to start getting things to function and balance out. I'll tell you what, at 46 years old and the athletes that I work with and they're not, and many are even older than me, to continue doing what we do, whether it's CrossFit, triathlons, marathons, go just going to the gym and staying fit, tennis, golf. These are the people that we work with, and it's because we're looking at these little motion problems and fixing them and keeping them back in the game. So, hey, Dr. Dave, you know, debunking that, that CrossFit is bad for you, where if you combine CrossFit and chiropractic and understanding proper motion, it's good for you. So, you know what? I can't wait to see you next time at a at Hey Dr. Dave, but before we go, comments. I love to hear your comments. I want you to let me know your positive uh, reactions to some of these videos or maybe to chiropractic. Let me know maybe some negative things that have happened. I want to have that conversation with you as well. Subscribe to the YouTube page, share the video on Facebook with your family and friends, and let's all start making healthy choices together, and I'll see you next time.